distributed denial of service. If your eyes are already glazing over, I get it, but let me tell you why you should care. It's a technique hackers use to target a website or app and take it offline. You've probably seen it happen to some of your favorite services like Twitter, Netflix, and Spotify. Or if you're anything like me, you came pretty close to throwing something at the TV when you couldn't watch reruns of Gilmore Girls. And while these attacks usually only cause outages that last a few hours, they're a constant reminder of how vulnerable our digital infrastructure is. So how do hackers do it? Think of a denial of service attack as the entrance to your favorite store getting flooded by a massive crowd of people. The doorway is packed so tight that you're stuck waiting outside. In the digital world, it works the same. A hacker sits at his computer and uses malicious software to send so many requests to a website or app that it crumbles under the pressure. And a distributed denial of service? Well, it's the same thing, but on a much larger scale. Instead of one computer, it can be hundreds of thousands sending tens of millions of requests per second. The latest wave of DDoS attacks has gone beyond just computers to using malicious code to infect internet connected devices in your home. Hackers take advantage of webcams and DVRs to help carry out these cyber strikes, all without you having a clue. Not all hacks are about stealing information. In the case of DDoS, sometimes it's just about wreaking havoc. And the attacks can have lasting effects. If hackers took down a major e-commerce site for even a few hours, it could mean a falling stock price and hundreds of millions of dollars in lost revenue.